For this part, we have two of us um, to work with all four artists' work, which was sent to us in really concise packaging that is not more than what one might be able to bring on the plane, 62 lineal inches of, of volume. And I think that's just one constraint I want to underscore, it's something even though I'm local, I, I stayed with that constraint as well. So we said, why don't we do a show uh, where we can bring our work together and instead of sort of like lining up them up in a conventional uh, way of looking at pictures, objects, painting objects, painting materials, why not we experiment and try to uh, put it in a space uh, using a compositional device of painting uh, as a kind of installation. In that sense, you are, what I'm also saying is to sort of like question uh, the idea of a picture, the limits of the frame, and also its relationship to the real space. The entire space is a kind of canvas. So what is cohering this space? And I think that's, that unlike things can, can kind of produce a, uh, a thought, I suppose. That's what I'd like to see happen. Mm. You know that sometimes it's some, something su surprises you in its proximity and, and it makes you think. And that I feel like is a really liberating idea for whatever you're doing, whenever you're doing that, to sort of invite that. And that then maybe there's a question of how everything belongs, not in a cheesy way, but, but in a complex structural way, right? And nothing can be assumed. We always want to be surprised by the logic of the way we shift a, 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 an element, an object. Yes, we do leave it to chance. Actually, we do leave it to chance because we, we embrace it. If you're talking about balance, it's something that we want to offset, you know, at times. Uh, so we start with that offsetting in the beginning and then we tweak. I forget that it's non-objective work or non-representational. That's the bubble I live in, I suppose. But I'm reminded by the provocation that the figurative moments or the representational moments make to these, this non-objective work. Photographs, which has a strong relationship to painting, and they are being brought into question here in this exhibition. Yeah. So there's a lot of, uh, so in a sense, when we talk about unpacking, in a sense, it's also bringing all this uh, different ways of how uh, the relationships of painting have with uh, image making. It's kind of like not more than curating because um, we are both the curators and the makers, all four of us, of the works uh, as in the elements that we brought together and the work itself. Uh, as in the, the, the construct of the installation in the space. I think one of the things that brought us together is there's a kind of commonality of the way we think about the idea of the open, open work. We have had, I think, like this sort of mutual trust mm -hmm. to handle it mm -hmm. and to handle it with a consciousness about what, what the intention was in the first place. This experience that has been both experimental and, I mean, Ian has put things next to mine where I've been just like, what? And then also so kind of truly kind of uh, caring and un like understanding enough to push it a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, I think David, uh, when he was Skyping uh, with us, towards the end and he knew that there was only two of us that were installing it and he knew there was a huge complex space and he gave us an encouragement yeah. he, I still always remember he gave it to us twice yes and he says that oh 
uh, feel free to make your choices about flipping my works around. This works. And it says that more important, it says that it's a celebration. Put this show up as a celebration of the four of our, what we have talked about yeah. doing. Yeah. And so that, that yeah, was a kind of a, a, leading, permission. Yeah. a permission for us to have, you say, yeah. have fun, have fun and celebrate. I think fun also comes with the, the idea of when you're in the zone, when you're familiar, mm -hmm. and when things go autopilot, mm -hmm. is when fun happens. Yeah. Because in the beginning, it's always so, uh, tweaky, tweaky, and with trepidation that you mm -hmm. are not sure. And it's okay, I think part of this show is about that doubt, mm -hmm. about unsureness. And I had really nice conversation with Laura about the, the importance of doubt. The doubt because yeah. doubt allows you to, to question and not assume mm -hmm. that th this is always the way to do it. If I have a feeling about it, it's that it keeps breathing. It keeps going. And yes, it's going to stop and get packed up and get sent back and not happen like this ever again, you know. But, but the things that keep it breathing are you know, are just like, how is it possible that this monochrome you have a certain depth of blue-blackness, which is not Ian's, is sitting there amidst Ian's work. How is that logic? You know, I might point out these places where we were really interested in, how is that possible? I don't really know. We could sit there and probably make a good argument but also just kind of look at it, you know? Look at how is that, that's working on us. I'm, not, I'm always worried about mm -hmm. like leading people to something because uh, am I like dogmatically telling mm -hmm. them you should look at this, you know? Mm -hmm. Or should they just be looking at it by themselves and finding mm -hmm. out? I think Laura talked about the idea of curiosity. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, and, and wonder, being, mm -hmm. being a wonderment. I think that's always a powerful thing for me uh, in art making, mm -hmm. for myself, you know? that idea of that, I would see it differently each time I enter into mm -hmm. the space. And that's a beautiful thing, uh, rather than be told uh, mm -hmm. all the time that I should be looking at only one part of it. Uh, yeah, that's the wonder of making art, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think that's a spirit that we all share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.